नमस्कार हेलो एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू सी आई टी एन सी आर टीज लाइव फोन इन इंटरक्टिव प्रोग्राम माई नेम इज तनवी खुराना एंड दिस क्लास फॉर साइंस इज फॉर ऑल द एथ क्लास चिल्ड्रन वी आर हेयर टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स एंड प्लास्टिक्स हम सभी जानते हैं कि प्लास्टिक कहते हैं कि हमारे लिए हानिकारक होते हैं पर किस प्रकार और भी हम बहुत कुछ जानेंगे सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स के बारे में अगर आपके पास कोई भी क्वेश्चन है तो आप हमें फ़ोन कर सकते हैं हमारा नंबर है एट एट जीरो जीरो फोर फोर जीरो फाइव फाइव नाइन इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू ई मेल अस द ई मेल आई डी वुड बी डी टी एच डॉट क्लास एट एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन एट दिस मोमेंट यू वॉचिंग आस ऑन पी एम ई विद चैनल नंबर एट एंड ऑल्सो ऑन आर यूट्यूब चैनल विच इज़ एन सी ई आर टी ऑफिशियल इन दैट लाइव चैट बॉक्स यू कैन राइट डाउन योर क्वेश्चन योर क्वेरीज एंड शेयर दैम विद आस सो टिल थ्री थर्टी वी हैव अ गेस्ट इन आर स्टूडियो एंड लेट मी प्लीज इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू शी इज मिस नीरज पूनिया अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू यू मैम नमस्कार मैम हैज गॉट अ नेशनल आई सी टी अवार्ड एंड दैट वॉज इन टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन वेल दैट्स नॉट ऑल शी इज अ टी जी टी इन केमिस्ट्री फ्रॉम डी ए वी पब्लिक स्कूल सेक्टर फोर्टीन गुरुग्राम सो लेट्स बिगिन दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम और हम मैम से पूछते हैं कि मैम ये जो चैप्टर है सिंथेटिक फाइबर्स इन प्लास्टिक्स इसमें आज हमारे जो एथ क्लास के बच्चे हैं वो क्या सीखने वाले हैं यस मैम Uh, ma'am as the topic suggests synthetic fibers and plastic yeah. so we are going to learn in this chapter that uh, we all know what are the harmful effect of the synthetic fibers yes right still we are continuously using them hmm. then what is the reason that we are still continuously using them okay and we will also know that there what are actual uh, harmful effect to the environment of all these okay so shall we begin yes ma'am shall we start absolutely yeah so uh, in this chapter of synthetic fibers let me first tell you that you can see all these different type of fabrics right all some are wearing woolen some are wearing silk and some are wearing maybe uh, it can be the synthetic fibers hmm right hmm. so we do not know by just looking at them that either this is natural or this is synthetic right right so initially what happens we all are used to use the natural fab fibers only natural fibers like cotton jute silk and these all we used to uh, we are using them in making the fabrics hmm. but they are means they are very delicate they are getting attacked by the moths and we have to handle them with very care hmm. so what happened then here comes the demand of synthetic fibers so the demand for the fibers and the fabric is so large means people started using natural fibers in large amount that they become insufficient right and then to meet the demand uh, by the public and the, by the people scientists created artificial fibers known as synthetic fibers so these synthetic fibers are created by the scientist by using different chemicals okay and so, yeah please please and uh, what is this synthetic fiber actually this synthetic fiber is a chain of small unit joined together each small unit is actually a chemical substance and let me show you here one activity to you one chemical substance suppose uh, this is one chemical substance i am representing here this is uh, by paper clip so this is another unit this is the third unit and the fourth unit one single unit is called monomer what do we call as one single unit mono mer mer mono means one and when these single unit combine chemically then what do they do they bond like this and then when they combine like this all the chemical units same chemical units can you see yeah so the are the same chemical unit when they are chemically combined now they have become polymer so the name is also clear that it is now polymer polymer means number of single unit joined together these are called polymer so this is basic structure of all the synthetic fibers okay so what happens in this it is the small unit 
many such small units when combined together to form a large unit which is called polymer. So now the fabrics, the synthetic fibers which are created by this chemical process by chemically combined monomer units are of different types. Nylon, polyester, rayon, acrylic. We are going to study them in detail in this session today. Their uses, their application and uh, their harmful effect and their properties we are going to discuss. Another major synthetic fiber is plastic for which we are going to discuss in detail that what is the basic structure of plastics. Let us start with the rayon fabric. Rayon is the first made artificial and synthetic fiber which is very costly also. And what happens in this preparation of rayon, the raw material used is wood pulp. Means it is the natural, natural product which is used for the preparation of rayon, wood pulp. So treating the wood pulp with sulfuric acid, scientists created rayon. So when wood pulp is treated with uh, sulfuric acid, it shows the appearance like silk exactly like silk but the benefits are that they are uh, not so much moth resistant and we do not require too much care to handle these type of fabrics so isn't it better than the pure silk it's better than the pure silk because in many ways they are moth resistant we do not have to take care a lot for these right. rayon fabric so these are artificial silk and okay. people, the, remember initially I show you the slide that we don't know whether it is the actual silk or, or artificial. Small, yeah. So it appears like artificial, but it is artificial silk. But is it harmful? Yes, ma'am. It is harmful because the, you see the basic unit is chemicals. Right. And when the industry dispose those chemicals, hmm. then it becomes very harmful okay. for the environment. Okay. They are all biodegradable, non-biodegradable. Okay. So these are the uses of rayon you can see. Rayon when mixed with wool, it can make the carpets. Rayon when mixed with cotton, make the bed sheets and dresses. So this is how various uses of rayons are there. Next come the nylon. Nylon is another man-made fiber. And here uh, we do not use any natural raw material. Initially rayon, we are using natural raw material that which was wood pulp. But in nylon, we are not using. It is just prepared by using coal, water and so this was the first fully synthetic fiber. The uses of, and first of all the <coughs> application. Nylon fiber is very strong, elastic, light and lustrous and easy to wash. So in the picture also you can see because of its strength, it's used for climbing ropes as well as in parachutes. These are the uses of nylon. It is used for, for, for making socks, rope, toothbrush, curtains, car seat belt, very strong as well as elastic. So best use to make the socks. Next synthetic fiber is polyester. Again, the poly means number of units are more. Here monomer unit is ester. So when ester combines number of time, then it makes polyester. The right side, the which is the uh, image is shown, is the unit of ester. This is representing ester. So when this unit combines number of times, it is making polyester. And when we are making it, it gives very pleasant smell, like fruit-like smell. And two main type of polyesters are terylene and PET. These are the two another types of uh, polyester: terylene and PET. Terylene is a popular polyester which is drawn into fibers and then woven like any other yarn. PET, the full form is polyethylene tetrathalate. P is silent here when we speak this, pronounce this. So it is polyethylene tetrathalate. PET is a very familiar form of polyester. Now, major application of polyester is that it is water repellent because of this characteristic it is used for making conveyor belt sails and PET bottle you all must have seen uh, the PET bottle so I would like to show here okay uh, the next is acrylic and the acrylic is 
which is resembling with the wool this is not the pure wool this is the artificial wool earlier i told that this is artificial silk yeah. and artificial silk was rayon rayon and this is the artificial wool okay. you know what a type of blankets we all are using yeah. that is not the pure wool okay. you remember it does not get wrinkled yeah yeah and it is moth resistant right and we just fold it and keep it anywhere yes and pure wool how much care we need hmm. it gets a cut even if we left it on open yeah. so what all blankets are these are acrylic okay and so we use it in our um, no uh, winter so is it okay for us yeah. to use them yeah this is okay because they are giving the same warmth as the actual wool is giving but, but there is some chemical mix in it yeah right? this is the major factor because the chemicals are mixed so it becomes actually it becomes harmful okay and what we are doing we are not looking at those harms to the environment hmm. we are just taking care of our comfort right that okay we don't have to take care of a lot of these fabrics and these are moth resistant and we don't have to means uh, store it somewhere else hmm. we just fold it and keep it that's it so we have chosen an easy life here yes yes okay. we have chosen the easy life without taking care of the environment and our surroundings right so these are the synthetic fibers which resemble molds okay and we also call it as artificial wool these are the basic uses of acrylic making sweaters making blankets so all these are actually acrylic not the pure wool ma'am there are certain colors also which are called acrylic colors yeah So, um, children use them. Yes, right? yes, are yes. The, are that the same? Uh, that's not giving the proper warmth, but it is the same because synthetic fibers hmm. are the color resistant also. Okay. Their colors does not fade. Right. Right. When we use the acrylic uh, blanket, even after washing or dry cleaning, hmm. their colors does not go. Yes. Huh? So all have color resistant also. That's why they are color resistant fast colors. So okay. they do not go on washing. The children are using those acrylic colors. Okay, that's one of their characteristics. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, rest of the other characteristic of synthetic fibers are that they dry up quickly when you just wash them, keep it, and they dry up quickly. They are durable, they're less expensive, readily available, and major use application is easy to maintain. Right. then here comes the main another synthetic fiber which is known as plastics so plastics are which is easily moldable can be shaped into any form can be recycled reused colored melted rolled into sheets and made into wires we all are using polythene and mm. actually it is poly plus ethene mm. ethene is the chemical right and when that ethene chemical is combined chemically number of times it becomes polythene polythene so it is synthetic plastic now i would like to show here the two types of plastic we call them thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic i would like to show this okay so here thermoplastic what happens in that thermoplastic it is a linear linkage can you see linear linkage that the monomer unit is combined chemically linear linkage right and thermosetting is the another type so what happens in thermosetting plastic so i'll show you this so one linkage linear linkage above one linear linkage down and then the cross linkage is also there like this so this gives the more strength to the single unit okay so if they are linearly mm -hmm. combined so it becomes less strong less mm -hmm. strength but if this is this type of cross linkage is there then it becomes very strong fabric okay and how, where we use these type of plastic thermoplastics can be used in bottles toys linear linkage let me show you here this plastic bottle can you see this plastic bottle yes ma'am so see if i press it hmm. it is getting deformed right d shaped yeah right it means it is thermoplastic i have another bottle here uh, here it is written pet but when i try to squeeze it i cannot do anything you may also try so here you can just this is hard yes so this is pet polyethylene tetraphthalate okay. and this one is thermoplastic okay 
So right now it's full. Yes. Had it been empty, it would have been the same. Yeah. Now it will be D-shaped more. Oh. Yes. This is soft plastic. This is soft. So this is the difference. This is thermoplastic. Okay. Means now you can just visualize here linear linkage is there. Yeah. Right. And here cross, cross linkage. linkage. Yes. This okay. is thermosetting plastic. Okay. So why are we creating these type of plastics hmm. that we need uh, linear and cross, cross linkage. linkage? So these are the various uses because we need them. So handles of utensil we need. We should not get our hand burn when we are cooking something. Hmm. So handles are uh, bad conductor of heat. Switches, this does not get warmth or melt because of current hmm. melamine utensils. We are using for microwave cooking. Right. Right. And in all these, there is a cross linkage. That is why they cannot be softened by heating. Okay. But despite knowing that this is bad for environment, we still use them. Yes. This is the major concern. Ki we know everything. But what is the another option? We should move toward the glass. If right. we want to make or cook something in the microwave. Hmm. People are using plastic because easy to store. It will not break. Hmm. So many uses are there. Right. And uh, cheap also. Cheap also. Hmm. So and it will not reactive also toward the food. True. Right. So and if we start using glass, we have to handle it with very care. It yeah. will get, can break. So these are the uses also. Okay. Okay. So uses are endless of plastic. Absolutely. These are making cars, aircraft, spacecrafts and household materials, bucket, mugs, slippers, funny. Endless uses of plastics are there and we all are using. Now, we all know that it is not good. Still we are using because most convenient. True. Right. It's lightweight, strong, lower price, good strength, easy handling, non-reactive major thing, poor conductor because of which it is used. Now plastic, the major concern is disposal, that it's a major problem. Now the substance which can get disposed of are called biodegradable, which mm -hmm. cannot decompose are no, called non-biodegradable. So this here we can compare, the fruits and the peels get decomposed within 1 to 2 weeks, paper 10 to 30 days, cotton cloth 2 to 5 months, wood 10 to 15, woolen cloth about a year. Metals, 100 to 500, but plastic bags, several years. So, these are non-biodegradable. So, we all have to move a step further and we have to be a responsible citizen. So, do not throw plastic bags in water bodies. Take a cotton carry bag or a jute bag while going for shopping. Try to minimize the use of plastic material. Use steel box instead of plastic because we know it's uh, very harmful. So we all have to follow these five R's, important five R's. What are these? Reduce, that minimize the use of plastic. Mm -hmm. Recycle. If you are using the plastic, please provide the plastic at some place where it can be recycled. Reuse. One bottle can be refilled. One plastic container can be reused again for keeping another things. If we have some can, plastic can, we can use it for storing our pen, pencil, pen holder like or you may also find out some another good use. Repurpose, repurpose the same thing that if we are using one plastic bottle, we can fill it with some another liquid. Right. We can, if we have some uh, plastic container, we can fill it with some another thing. Mm. We can use it as a pen paper holder. Mm. So it is repurpose now. Okay. Refuse means if somebody is giving you plastic bag or plastic thing, please refuse it that no, I have my carry bag with me. I have my jute bag with me. So what should we do? And take a survey. This is uh, means uh, I'm giving a task to students. Please take a survey in your surroundings. Make people aware to be a responsible citizen and ask them to follow these five hours and to follow that Take care of these things when they are going out. Please carry the cotton bag or the jute bag with them. So at least we have to start. Now after all this, this is a very small assessment for my students. First question I think we all can answer. Now explain why plastic containers are favored for storing food. Because they are non-reactive toward food and lightweight. If they are non-reactive, 
then definitely we all will prefer to use those <laughs> plastic containers. Now let us match these polyester. It is the fabric. It will go with the D part fabric, which do not get wrinkle easily. Mm. Teflon, another type of synthetic fiber, which is used to make non-stick cookwares. Rayon, and uh, this is prepared by using wood pulp. It was the first synthetic fiber in which we use the natural uh, product, which was the wood pulp. Wood pulp. Nylon, mm. very strong. So it was used for making parachutes and stockings. So, if you are able to answer these, it means you have understood the concept. Mm -hmm. Explain the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. So, it's I hope this also is clear to all of you. You can show the cross linkage and the linear linkage, and then tell the write down draw the structure. Give the examples also thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics. Last question for this assessment is why the following are made up of thermosetting plastic saucepan handles. Electrical plugs. I hope you all, my viewers, are able to answer these questions. Why the handles are making made up of thermosetic? Because absolutely, because uh, heat resistant. Yes, and the plugs show that they cannot melt even if the large amount of current flu flows through it. They will not melt. So these are using, but still, I would say to my viewers and to students, take a step ahead and stop the use of plastics and start following those five R's. Absolutely. I think uh, our children, they have understood the concept of uh, synthetic fibers in plastics and how they are so harmful to us. But because they have become a part of our lives, our day-to-day -day lives and we cannot ignore these, we can always reduce and refuse. Yes. Right, ma'am? Yes. Sir. So, thank you so much, ma'am, for being with us. It was wonderful interacting with you. And uh, even my concepts were a little uh, no, blurred and now they are more clear. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much ma'am. Ma thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you to all our children as well. I really hope that you have got the concept. So next time if uh, you have any plastic bottle, maybe you can repurpose it. Um, so you can pot some plants in it and uh, you know add it to the environment instead of polluting it. And you can always refuse if anyone is giving you any kind of plastic. So um, I really hope that you're going to take the survey. Uh, Ma'am gave it to you. It was very interesting. And also you're going to do the assessment Ma'am just gave. Thank you so much once again for understanding and for being with us in this particular program. And uh, we're wrapping up this particular session here, but we're coming back with another class of maths. And the topic of discussion would be algebraic expressions part three. So stay here, keep on watching PME Evidya channels and uh, thank you once again, take great care of yourself. Namaskar.